This is a very different look compared to the last place. What is this? It's starting to look like some weird circus. The TV world changed according to the mind of whoever appeared on the Midnight Channel, right? There's shadows around, and we can call our personas here. So does that mean this Midnight Stage works the same way? You're telling me someone's mind looks like a circus on the inside? That, uh, raises a lot of questions. <laughs> Welcome to Tamami Recipe's Midnight Stage. It's that voice! Stop hiding and show yourself! Hmm. And why should I do that? I don't see any reason to bother with you. What?! You just said this was Tamami-san's stage. Is she up ahead? <laughs> yes, she is. And her performance is about to begin. She is going to become the Tamami everyone wants. A true star, shining brightly at our eternal concert. Rise told me about your spiel. Becoming the you that others want, huh? That's just letting yourself be brainwashed. Brainwashed? Not at all. This is for Tamami's sake. Forcing others to deal with your true self won't make anyone happy. To her, there's no point in being someone that nobody loves. But if she becomes the Tamami everyone wants, then everyone will love her. <laughs> Nothing could make her happier. This doesn't look good. Nothing we say is getting through. In any case, I'm sorry you've come all this way. But I'm afraid there's no admission for those without a ticket. Just like Naoto-kun said. Be careful, don't get caught. Come on, connect with us. If you do, I'll let you join us and see Tamami on stage. song again. I know I was warned, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh crap, they're getting closer! <sighs> Everyone hang in there. Don't let the pressure overwhelm you. Risa assigned each of us a song to work on. Dancing is expressing ourselves. I still don't quite get it. It looks like I gotta give it a shot. Give it a... Yosuke! You're gonna dance? Hey, when it comes to showing off your moves, it's first come, first served. Sorry, but I got dibs on this one. Senpai, everyone, are you alright? Risa, perfect timing. I need my song. Yosuke Senpai's track? Okay, I'm on it. I'll turn it up full blast. So wait! All right, Rise, hit it! Yosuke, you did it! That was a great performance! Yes, you were wonderful! <laughs> Phew! Not such a disappointment now, huh? It's not like I've been screwing around all this time, you know? Whoa! Chie, are you all right? You're spacing out. Oh, it's... 
it's nothing. It's nothing at all, really. Just, uh, it caught me off guard, and I was like, damn, Yosuke! Oh, ho, ho, ho. what was that, Chie? Now that you've seen how cool I can be, are you falling for me? No, that's not possible. Right, Chie? Yeah, your dance was awesome, but none of that other stuff. Uh, Yukiko-san, Chie-san, it was supposed to be a joke. Could you please get the punchline instead of taking it seriously? Oh, damn it. Even the shadows understand me better than you two. shadows anyway. I mean, these guys are kind of different from the shadows we're used to, huh? Usually they try to beat the crap out of us as soon as they see us. Now that you mention it, you're right. Oh, are they calm because they're chained down? You know, like Chosokabe. Chosokabe? The Sengoku era feudal lord? No, not him. You know my dog? His name's Muku. I keep telling her, but she keeps forgetting. Hell, this isn't even the TV world. Are there really this many shadows outside of it? I know it happened once, but that was kind of a special case. and then they got yanked over here. Perhaps someone was walking them? Are you still stuck on dogs? I don't know if it's from the TV world or not, but it's possible they were brought here from somewhere. Hmm. Let's say they're from inside the TV. You'd think Teddy would have noticed their presence first thing, right? But if it's not the TV they came from, that'd mean there could be shadows anywhere. Uh, first off? Where even is here? This definitely isn't the TV world, right? Teddy said as much, so we can at least be sure about that. Probably. That voice said this is a place where no one hurts. Yeah, no one hurts or gets hurt, right? Well, if you get brainwashed by that ribbon, I guess you wouldn't even think about hurting anyone. Who the heck is that voice anyway? Sure sounds like they know a lot about this world. More like it rules this world. Maybe that voice created everything here. Who knows? It's not like any one specific person made the TV world either. Though if the voice does have that kind of power, then we're up against one tough opponent. It's hard to believe this is all the work of a normal person. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the culprit isn't human. An alien, maybe? Uh, I kinda doubt that. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I did a little research after getting Risei's text. You know what people are saying about the LMB website's video, right? that it's the curse of a dead idol? serious here. There was an idol that committed suicide a while ago. And rumor has it that she cursed the site from beyond the grave. So since she's already dead, you think she has supernatural powers? Uh, oh, you too, Yukiko! Just stop! Conversation over! Come on! We should get going! We need to save Tamami-chan, right? We don't have time to be standing around chatting!
You're right. Let's focus on rescuing Tamami-san. All right. If we're ready, then let's move. <laughs>